Shirts off, pants down, what's up everyone? Kenny KO back with another video as always. Everything you guys need to know is in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the best family on YouTube. Jumping into another Natty or Not series, Ulysses Jr. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. He's kind of fallen under the radar as of what I've noticed lately, guys. You know, he used to be getting called out all the time along with Simeon Panda about being, you know, some of the biggest fake naturals currently in the game. Now, a while back, Ulysses did take natural out of his Instagram bio when he used to claim natural, but I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. First, before we roll anything, I think Ulysses, honestly, regardless of any steroid use, gear use, or whatever he takes, if he takes anything, which I'm gonna jump into, he has one of the most aesthetic physiques I've ever seen, personally. You know, his symmetry is conditioning year round. Just everything associated with this physique is honestly one of the most aesthetic. But I'm gonna show you this interview that him and Simeon Panda had, and it's actually kind of comical, so let me roll the first part of the clip. The question was, have you juiced? We yeah. haven't, simple as that, I haven't. I can, you know, I can speak for Simeon yeah. because I'm good friends with him, I've known him, I've traveled with him. You know, known him quite very well. I've known him quite well, and, and I can tell you categorically, he hasn't done anything. Again, I haven't done anything. Um, I've been competing with Muscle Mania for years now. Um, you know, so if I was juicing for these past 15 years or so, something would have came up. Something would have creeped out of the closet. So, so he claims natural, but. How can you explain this, Ulysses? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I apologize if I'm sabotaging it. But in Muscle Mania, why on stage did you all of a sudden, out of nowhere, after all of your years of training, past puberty, past everything, would you develop female breast tissue or gyno? there is enough evidence for anything uh, regardless of any drug tests any polygraph tests even though those are all beatable that right there you don't just develop gyno guys you can get gyno don't get me wrong if you're going through puberty many males have it I still have it from when I was going through puberty and you know there is a lot of males out there who suffer from it and it's not due to steroid use or gear use but if you're after puberty and Ulysses never showed any signs of gyno ever up until one of his muscle mania shows where on stage, as you guys can see, I'll keep rolling the clip. He had pretty obvious gyno, in fact, a very bad case of it. From a lot of these comments, it's like, you would hear the so-called comment, oh, these guys can't say nothing because, uh, oh, because um, them, they're sponsors, their sponsors and uh, they they'll lose them. all their supplements or they'll lose all their money. I'll tell you something right now, I'm self-made. <laughs> I've worked for myself, built myself, my website and everything I do, my clients that I train, is where I make my money. Sponsors is an added bonus for me. It doesn't matter, okay? so. I <laughs> and then he says this part, guys, that they can't say anything because of their sponsors and that that doesn't affect them at all, that all of their money is through their clientele and through promoting themselves. It's not with anything to do with the clothing companies, the supplement lines, anyone that is endorsing them, which is just the biggest load of BS, guys. Some of the biggest paychecks honestly come from when people use your code or you know buy your supplements or your clothing or your merchandise. That's honestly how they make most of their money. YouTube, these social media platforms, very little and minimal income to that of you know having a supplement line or a clothing line so that's a hundred percent the reason for why they are doing that for them to say that that part doesn't affect them or that that part they're not you know going to come out and say that they are not natural because they don't want to lose their sponsors or they're afraid of how their sponsors will respond it's just like the biggest load of bs now i understand this interview you know was old but it just goes to show you know this is one of the most like solid examples I can give of why someone would claim natural guys, you know. You have two of, uh, you know, top tier Instagram physiques, you know, Simeon Panda and Ulysses Jr. that both do an interview and both claim natural and we know they are both indeed not natural. Um, Ulysses is obviously more obvious because he developed gyno where Simeon Panda hasn't really developed any of those symptoms or anything. He's kind of kept them managed very well. But like I was saying, it goes to show like some of the biggest athletes will claim natural because they don't want to ruin their reputation, especially after, you know, they both made this interview addressing these questions. They're not gonna, you know, 
a year or even two years or three years after come out and say, yes, we lied to you during these interviews, during our whole careers that we are not natural. That They're just not gonna do that. And like I said though, guys, these clips are old, you know, these are a few years old. And like I said, I haven't seen, at least from what I've seen, Ulysses claim natural in a very, very long time, years, guys. Like I said, when he took it out of his Instagram bio, and out of his pictures and whatever else he was claiming it in. But like I said guys, I have nothing against people who use or who don't. The choice at the end of the day is up to you, but I just wanna make you know the fitness industry clear and open so people that are watching, that are either already in the industry or that are already you know just starting to gain into working out, know exactly what is achievable naturally versus unnaturally. Obviously there's gonna be some genetic underliers and everything that set individuals apart. But let's just re-summarize, Ulysses Jr. is not natural, guys. I don't hate on him for being not natural, except for the fact, like I said a few years ago, they did used to claim natural, and he was selling, you know, his cookie cutter programs, his workout plan, which everyone does, you know, not to single him out, like in the Now You're Not series, you guys are gonna see. I mentioned this part a lot. As I was saying, though, not natural. Don't hate on his physique, though. Still an incredible physique. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, like I said, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave in the comments down below if you guys still somehow believe that Ulysses Jr. is indeed natural. And as always, make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. Signing out.